Technique number eight for Kimbo Karate for Christ's Blue Belt curriculum is um, Grasp of Death. Now, for um, Grasp of Death, this is uh, another headlock technique. Uh, you saw headlock technique back in um, Orange Belt, Grip of Death. So now we have Grasp of Death, and I get the two confused all the time, so don't feel bad if you have a problem with that too. Um, they're both headlock techniques. Um, it was even more confusing as I was learning and studying Kimbo systems. A lot of other schools will teach this one in the yellow belt level. They, will, they won't teach it the same way I do. Um, I'm going to show you and, and point out where I've made some alterations uh, to the technique itself. But, uh, but this in the classic Ed Parker curriculum is, uh, is in the actual yellow belt uh, level. We put it back at blue. Um, because I'm going to have a follow-up to it that's not in the original technique um, as, as it's taught. But uh, uh, I moved it up as well because I like to think of um, the, the grip, of de grip of death technique happening in orange belt. Um, you're moving a little bit quicker in that case. As they're pulling you into the headlock, you're responding to that. They're pulling you forward, you're using that momentum, right? That's a good good trick to learn and um, honestly if you're going to have a default headlock technique that's the one to go for right that that's just good stuff right there this one um, this one you've messed up a little bit because as as a uh, grip of death happens while they're putting you in it grasp of death they've got you in it here you you find yourself uh oh you're you're table topped they've cinched that headlock in and you've got to respond now. Um, you waited a little too late in this process. So again, I, I had it earlier. Uh, I had the other technique earlier. Uh, I show this one later as, okay, well, what if we have messed up or we've waited too late? Uh, we missed that, that opportunity. Uh, classically, they show you the, the harder technique first um, in the Ed Parker system. I, or at least I think that's the philosophy of why they have it at Yellow Belt. And instead, we have it, or I have it here, at, uh, at Blue Belt. And it's, it's showing you, okay, let's correct a mistake. Um, if possible, you want to use uh, Grip of Death here. But you didn't move fast enough, and now they've got you caught. And this, your head's forward, they're cinching in that, that headlock. Uh, so what are we going to do from there? So uh, as the technique starts, I want to get up there around that arm again. I don't want that to become a choke. Right? I'm going to pull down my right arm, pulling hard, to be able to slip my chin in tight. I don't want that to become something worse than a headlock. At the same time, as I step forward here, instead of coming to a wide kneel, which is what uh, Grip of Death does, we're going to go to a close kneel. I'm going to step forward into that lunge position here. Boom. Because they're pulling you forward. And again, I don't want to be in this tabletop position. I want to get my hips underneath there so I can stand up have the best posture possible here. Now the new weapon that we're going to use in this case is um, with your sword hand, reach across and uh, touch the far side, with your ring finger or your pinky, the pad there. And we're actually going to use the top of the hand here, using the ridge hand is what they call that. Boom. And I'm going to use that. We've used that before back in, in orange with uh, thrusting, no, I'm sorry, locking horns. Locking horns was a headlock from the front, and right away you hit into the groin. So um, we're kind of taking our locking horns idea and our grip of death idea, and we're coming up with another technique together. So they got you down, pulling down here, get my chin in, step low, drop down. And I'm going to use that rich hand again, coming from behind this time. Locking horns, we were in front as you step and hit between the legs. This time I'm coming from behind. I'm going to hit up into the legs there. And uh, again, if it's just like guys messing around, and sometimes they do, and one of them gets them in the headlock, and, you know, you're not, you're not really in any danger. Uh, this this is not what you need to be doing here. This can cause serious damage, even though you're hitting from the back side. You might use that ridge hand and just kind of slowly be like, hit them in the leg. Hey, <laughs> let them know I'm here. Um, but, uh, but if it's just guys messing around, then, you know, don't, don't hurt each other with this move. If, on the other hand, somebody's really meaning to hurt you here, uh, you're going to hit, snapping snap the wrist there, uh, 
coming from behind, you shouldn't be able to generate so much force that you can do permanent damage. Whereas in the front, you can lift them off their feet. That's not going to be so easy here. And you're all bent over. But you do want to cause that pain reaction. Oh! So then you can slip your head out because your head's already caught in that vice. There's a pull down. That's all step one. Pull down, reach hand between the legs, and I'm in this close kneel position. That pain should allow you to be able to turn into them a little bit, bring your head towards their body so you can slip out of their hold. I'm going to step around the front of their leg here, front around the right leg, their right leg, circle around with your left so that you can then apply an arm bar, bringing them down, right, bending them over with that. So steps go, reach hand to the groin, slip the head out, standing up, applying the arm bar down. Now, Here's where I change things up a little bit. Uh, with the traditional Kempo system, what they'd have you do is smother that arm holding it here. And, and uh, I don't think that's a very secure hold, but it would only be brief anyway. And then they'd have you punch downward, doing this kind of corkscrew idea, so that your hand is inverted that way. And we're hitting with the middle knuckles, and you'd be punching back behind the ear to that um, mastoid there. You can deliver a pretty strong blow there. But the, the focus then was in yellow belt. They were trying to say, okay, um, the techniques would break down in such a way that you were seeing the use of the vertical fist, you were seeing the use of the horizontal fist, and then you were seeing use of, well, if we can turn it all the way to where the thumb is down and be effective. And that, that's part of why that showed up in yellow belt, was to kind of complete that idea. Um, that's not so important to me in this case, because I don't think... This self-defense wise, again, you're not able to hold them very hard here. And as you punch, um, that, there's just a better option in this case. So at blue belt level, as they pull you down, we're going to do grasp to death, hits to the groin, stands up, we apply this arm bar. Now from here, I will reach back with that hand, but now I'm not letting go with this one. We're going to keep them together so that I can reset my grab. You want the thumbs to be on the back of the hand here. And we're going to set, you've seen us, we, where we've done an inward wrist lock, turning their arm to the inside. Now we're going to turn it like they're hitchhiking, right? It's an outward wrist lock, take them down on their back. To do that, I'm going to turn back towards them, stepping back with the left foot. I'm going to step all the way to 3 o'clock with the left, and I'm going to turn to face 6. And as I do that, I make a big arc with that arm, turning them into that outward wrist lock, throwing them on their back. Head will be towards uh, 3 o'clock, feet towards 9. And I'm going to finish with a full cover out to, uh, to the 3 o'clock. Throw, throw them on their back, and from there, step and full cover out to escape. That's the whole thing there. So, grip of death, or sorry, grasp of death. Grasp of death, they got your headlock. Ridge hand to the groin, slip the head out. I apply the arm bar, reach back, grab the wrist here, thumbs on the back of the hand. Step back, making a big arc, throwing them down on his back. And full cover out towards 3 o'clock. One more time. Uh, 